In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to interpret quadratic relations with a focus on equations. In this situation, we have a basketball player shooting a basketball. On the x-axis is distance, while on the y-axis is height. We want to know what is the height of the basketball when it is 5 meters away from the player. 5 meters is right over here, which means when the ball is 5 meters away from the player, it will have a height of approximately 2.5 meters. However, can we do this without a graph? We most definitely can if we have the equation of this quadratic relation. You'll see the equation of the quadratic relation in standard form. Linking this back to what we've already learned, this would be the y-intercept. This doesn't really tell us anything useful, while this tells us that the parabola is frowning or opening downwards. But what does x and y represent? In our graph, on the x-axis was distance, therefore x represents distance. On the y-axis was height, therefore y represents height. Now, I'm ready to find the height of the basketball when it is 5 meters away from the player. Using our graph, we found the height of the basketball to be about 2.5 meters. We're going to do the exact same thing, but with an equation. I'm first going to replace the variable of x with the number 5. Using bed mass, you want to deal with the exponents first, which means I'm going to do 5 to the power of 2. 5 to the power of 2 is actually 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Next, I'm going to be multiplying these numbers. In between the brackets and the number is actually a hidden multiplication sign. Therefore, negative 0.3 multiplied by 25 is equal to negative 7.5, while 1.68 multiplied by 5 is equal to 8.4. Finally, I can combine these three numbers, which is equal to approximately 2.55. Therefore, the height of the basketball when it is 5 meters away from the player is about 2.55 meters, and this is very similar to the number we got when using the graph. 